Our story opens on the CD circus lot of Delaney's Greater Combined Shows. Two wagons on a 1928 Essex, where a frantic Delaney and his not-so-silent partner, Daphne O'Toole, are trying to coax a small-town audience into the big top. Their pitch is marred a little by the fact that the entire circus consists of two performers, Delaney and Daphne. In a series of come-on acts, they first appear as the Bafolas, a pair of slapstick clowns, as Benzino the Fire Eater and his flame, <coughs> as Princess Aloha and her ukulele accompanist, Hello, little, little baby, when you get them eyes, and a sweet complexion that I lies, Hello, little baby. And even as the four flying Fazulas, minus two. By the time they've reached the end of their stint, the crowd has dwindled to one solitary figure. Simpson, a huge hulk of a lad who watches open mouth. Step right up, son. Avoid the rush. Just one dollar. Well, I don't have a dollar. Well, are you under 60? Sure. Then you go in for kitty prices. 50 cents. Uh, I don't have 50 cents either. Well, seeing as how you're a 10,000th customer this week, make it uh, a quarter. Uh-uh. Now, what are you doing here? I want to get into show business. Show business? As what? I want to be an actor. Get away, boy. You bother me. No, no, wait, wait. You wouldn't have 15 cents, maybe? Well, I got the time. Well, rather than have you miss this edifying performance. Oh, boy. Hey, 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 yo. This time is all crooked. Sure enough, the coin is bent almost double. Uh, I must have bet it by accident, like. But I'll fix it. And taking the dime between thumb and forefinger, Simpson presses once and straightens it out. Delaney's eyes begin to light up like a pinball machine. No, Delaney, not again. But Delaney is already in full stride. So you want to be an actor, do you, young man? Well, I like to encourage young talent. You go ahead and act. Uh, friends, Romans, countrymen. Wonderful, wonderful. Go on. Once more into the breach, dear friends. Very moving. Delaney. He hasn't got an ounce of talent. But he's got tons of muscles. Then we can use. And turning to the lummox, Delaney beams. My dear boy, you're another Barrymore. Another Brando. No, I'm just another Simpson. And so begins the fabulous relationship of the fast-talking, opportunistic manager with the simple-hearted and simple-minded mass of muscles. Simpson's first showbiz job is a strongman act, which actually draws customers. Until the day when, while holding up an automobile with one hand, Simpson sees an old lady trying to cross the street. He immediately drops the car and goes to her aid. Of course, the car is demolished. Unfortunately, it belongs to the sheriff. And even worse, he's inside it. He threatens to close the show if he ever sees Simpson's face again. But Delaney gets a brilliant notion and changes the act. He puts a mask over Simpson and Simpson becomes the masked marvel, challenging anybody to stay in the ring three minutes with him. Of course, Simpson doesn't really want to fight anybody. The only way Delaney can get him angry is to convince him that each of his opponents has somehow insulted Daphne. Oh, you, you guy! All goes swimmingly until one day a rival carnival operator, T.T. Virgil, shows up with a giant gorilla named Warwick and offers to pit him against Simpson. The confident Delaney bets his entire circus that Simpson can beat the ape. And then at the last minute, Simpson refuses the challenge. He's a dumb animal. I don't fight no dumb animals. So the gorilla proceeds to mop up the lot with Simpson, and Delaney seems doomed, until in a burst of inspiration, he starts out to prove that far from being actually smarter than Simpson. Okay, Simpson, which hand have I got the banana in? This one? Nope. Right, Warwick. And, and look how he's tied up your leg. Uh, wh what about it? Well, can you tie a square knot? Gee, no. And for a clincher, how much is one and one? Quick! Well, well, uh... Warwick? Right! Uh, that does it. You know, Mr. Delaney, this gorilla is trying to make a monkey out of me. And so, thus reassured, Simpson turns the tables on the monster and tosses him off the lot. 
but sad to say, just one second too late. Delaney has lost his bet, all right, but he seems blithely happy. The reason is that the battle has completely destroyed the circus, leaving P.P. Burgle with just a lot full of junk and an angry sheriff who insists he clean it up immediately. So as Burgle and the ape begin to work, our three friends leap into their battered Essex and drive off toward new horizons, new adventures, and a new series called Simpson and Delaney. <laughs>